Hi everybody, it's Lori with Reiki and Wellness broadcasting from my healing space in Hinsdale tonight for Wellness Wednesday. And um, tonight is our Lost Doesn't Have to Be Lonely group. We meet the second Wednesday of every month for a grief support and recovery group. And um, you know, you're welcome to book same day or a little bit ahead of time if you know that you're you can fit it into your schedule. So just reach out anytime you want to join in on the grief support group. And um, my helpers helping has been um, kind of forming interestingly. I've been getting more calls from helpers for healing work. So that's been really good because helpers need help, right? So it's good that we receive some healing and support. And um, like I said, I also do, I do something every week at least, um, sometimes twice a week <laughs> if I need it. So it's really important that we maintain our own health and wellness so we can help other people. And then, um, of course, every Wednesday I'm holding space for anyone going through anything challenging or difficult or um, just need some extra Good energy sent their way so feel free to join in anytime for um, some extra strength and a energy boost from our healing space here in Hinsdale and of course you can always reach out via messenger or text or phone or email I've been putting more information out online so if you do have any requests that you want um, you know some help with just feel free to reach out I do charge for the group it's a nominal charge it's ten dollars per person and then in-person sessions are sixty dollars but if I'm sending distance healing to you or you just have something quick you want me to help you with um, I'm not going to charge you so don't worry about that and um, so then tonight I just wanted to talk about um, uh, creativity and how that's good for our health and wellness. I, um, I haven't been talking about creativity much and um, I definitely feel that it's important to my personal health and wellness and I do think that it connects us to our intuition better. So when we can um, explore creativity or express creativity or stay creative, it helps us um, you know, I feel connect to our feelings, connect to our spirit, connect to our intuition, and it also clears your mind. So I feel that creativity does things on multiple levels. And, um, you know, I think if you don't have a regular practice or a regular creative outlet, it's good to just start exploring creativity. Um, and I think people get a little bit um, intimidated I know for myself, I worked for a long time in creative fields. I was lucky enough to work um, for almost 20 years in the realm of photography and fashion and advertising. And that was my main creative expression for a very, very long time. And when I stopped doing that, I had to find you know, new creative outlets. And unfortunately, when you've already been good at one thing, and you try something new, you're a beginner again, you know. So um, you have to have the, the mind of a beginner and you have to be willing to try something new and, and, and be bad at it at first. Um, so, you know, I've kind of just been exploring other creative outlets on, um, you know, on my own since then. I haven't really gotten... I would say too professional about anything except maybe more the jewelry making that I like to do and sometimes my photography but um, you know I today I brought in some chalk and some paper and I like to play around with chalk and um, I find it very soothing to just like even draw a circle with chalk and then fill it in with other colors and you blend it with your fingers it's very tactile and there's a lot of energy that can emerge through chalk drawing. So I'm not saying that that is a medium that I am a professional at, but it's good to explore it and it's good to, you know, just take it for what it is. It's like bringing forward an expression of your energy or your mindset at the time and it's a modality that you can use for healing. Um, you know, and obviously there's like a million different um, 
creative fields and creative types, music, photography, dance, theater, um, you know, art in general. Um, but anyway, I'm not going to get into all of that. It's more just um, kind of hoping to encourage you to let yourself play a little bit and just explore and check out new avenues and take a class if you need to or just join a group that's, you know, painting one night and just see what happens, you know, because it's really, it's not only fun to do it, it can be intimidating, but it, if you allow yourself to have fun with it, it can really open you up creatively, spiritually, uh, and your mind. It can really, you know, kind of take all the cobwebs out of your mind. And, and by the time you're finished making something or doing something creative, you feel refreshed. And so because you feel refreshed, you you know, it's renewing to you and you can move forward in your week. And I think it puts a little bounce in your step and gives you a boost that you might not have gotten through any other means except cr through creative expression. So this is a great time of year to do some gardening or some landscaping or be outside and work with your hands outside too. A lot of gardeners are creative. Um, you know, I think just putting your heart and your hands into something is creative. So it really doesn't matter what you're doing, um, working, finishing up projects that you care about. But um, I would just encourage that you start to think about creativity as a part of your health and wellness and self-care and um, incorporating more creative expression and exploration into your week. You know, um, oh, my favorite book, I brought it tonight. So this is The Artist's Way, and I don't know if it's coming in, um, but this book will open you up a lot too. So if you need a little um, kick, <laughs> kickstart, that book is really good for ideas and she gives, you know, homework. And one of the homework plans is an artist date. So she um, encourages you to take yourself out on an artist date where you go to an art supply store or you go see a play or you um, check out a new gallery opening or you go to a you know, any kind of supply store that would um, make you feel creative or, you know, see something, you know, other people's art can stimulate our own inner artists. So it's not that you're going to impersonate them. You're going to just kind of think, oh, I can do something like that too. And you find your own way around it. Um, so she encourages artist dates. And um, for me, I like to in Incorporate something with history or culture in my artist dates. So I always um, like to get out in Chicago and I like to check out neighborhoods and I go to little museums or stores that represent a culture and um, their art. And for me, that has meaning in a lot of different ways. So like however you can piece it together and make it something that's meaningful for you is an artist date. And sometimes it could just be, you know, taking a bike ride or a walk or whatever you do and checking out something new. And um, so it's just about renewal and refreshment of your spirit and your psyche and your emotions and, um, you know, checking out new things, getting creatively stimulated and then applying that to something that you like to work on. So I always feel that you can't intellectualize creativity. You have to practice it. You have to work on it. You have to do it. And of course, when you're new, you're always bad at it, you know, unless you, you know, have some affinity to the medium, but um, you're typically not going to be great at something new. So just be careful that you are kind and compassionate towards yourself as you try something new and want to grow in different ways. And, um, you know, if you really love it, you'll become a master someday. But in the meantime, you can just open yourself up to exploring new modalities and checking them out and trying them and allowing yourself to play. You know, kids aren't really um, attached to how well they do something. They're just 
playing around and, and um, testing it and adding on to one theme and going into another theme. And that's what creativity does for us too, is it um, honors our inner child who's always with us and gives them an outlet for expression. So, you know, be like the children and have fun and do cool things and check out new stuff and be open and um, it'll be good for your health and wellness. So that's it for tonight. I hope you're doing well. And if you need anything, please reach out. I'm always here. Take care.